Hey guys, episode four. Episode three, we installed the power supply and the CPU and the CPU fan. Episode two, we installed the motherboard. Episode one, we showed you guys the product. Um, episode four, we are bringing you the SSD and the RAM, all brought to us by HyperX. Um, so, Tim, why don't we kick us off with the RAM really quick. So, starting off with, you have DDR3, you have 32 gigs of DDR3 Savage, I believe it is, yep. um, HyperX RAM. So, the thing about this is you're gonna need to see these little pins down in here. Mm -hmm. You need to pop them all back. So you can do the other side. Okay, and then you'll look at the bottom of your RAM and you will see there's a slit in it. That slit has to go right here. So, you see that little, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rock one side into it just to get it lined up, rock the other side in. Make sure they're all in the same channel. And before you do anything, move your finger up, to make sure. And then just push down. You should hear your nice pop sound. Perfect. Do it again, and again, and again. By the way, your case looks way fucking nicer than mine. Um, mine has like four different colors inside of it. Mine is black and red. It looks like uh, like the armor in uh You might just want to leave the side of the case off. Just to look at it. It's pretty badass in it. does. The little red accents. Too. I'm like super jealous. I might have built a new computer. Good. You probably didn't have one side in. It's very easy to miss. Best. God, that looks sexy. It's actually gonna turn on over here. Yeah, the Savage uh, Ram looks looks really cool. Okay. All right, Ram's installed, guys. That was it's quick, easy, easy painless. Now we are going to do the. Uh, so SSD. To get that, I need to remove this big enclosure, right? You do. Well, just because we didn't think ahead, um, they do make snap-in SSD enclosures um, that you can just do on the outside, and uh, then they will instantly just fit right in. Um, but we didn't do that, so we have to do the undo those two, and undo the I think four on the bottom. Video card in the future from out the right. Sure, it wouldn't overlap. Mm, no, if it, even if it did, it would go over the top of it. Okay. So um, maybe put those screws back in. Actually, let's okay. do that. And then we will use those um, for big hard drives. Yep. I don't know that I'd want to, but I guess it's good to leave room. Yep. So what we're gonna do with these? is we're going to lift the computer case up and get a terrible angle for the people for a second. And you're gonna want to, we're installing these little rubber grommet things. That's what you said. Yep. All right. Let me show them real quick. Yep. So we just got done installing these little rubber grommets inside of here. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead. Case and, down? Yeah, case down. It's fine. Uh, well, actually, no, sorry. Um, you. What I'm gonna, I'm gonna show Tim really quick. And I'm gonna show these people. Alright, guys. So we are installing this SSD right here, right like that, um, on these rubbers. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and open up. That bag right there, wait, hold on. Yep, that bag right there. With the screws. Tiny little screws. Seriously tiny. You're gonna want your flashlight. Okay. 
Are you holding the SSD on the other side? I am gonna hold the SSD on the other side. Can you find the whole thing? Okay, there's the SSD. Okay. It's uh, not super tight right now, but it's like, okay. Why don't I just move the case? Oh, that's true. <laughs> Alright, so you can go ahead and point to it, Tim. So I screwed in uh, this one and this one. I still need to do these two. And instead of the screws we showed you before, we're using the screw that we tried to do before with the motherboard, which turned out to be wrong. So they got kind of a part that's not threaded and then a really flat head that matches up with the, um, the rubber uh, grommet really nicely. And that's where you can point out the SSD in the case for them? Sure. I mean, it's easy to see because it's bright red thanks to the Savage. Yep. It's really so, flush with the bottom. It's actually almost level with the motherboard. So, go ahead and screw in the other two positions. Okay. All right, so are they tight and snug? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So go ahead and lay the case back down really quick. All right, so now we have the SSD installed, all four screws. You have room for one more SSD on the wall mounted. Um, next thing you're gonna do is grab your nine or your 660 uh, video card. You're gonna want to unscrew this top sleeve right there. So. Leave the screw out or take the screw out? Uh, well, you can take the screw out, I guess, for right this second. I mean, it does need to go back in. I think it needs to come up more than that, though. I'd just take it out. They're a real pain in the butt to get in and out. Alright, and then just pull that bad boy up. There you go. Then now that is where your. Uh, graphics card is in the lid. Alright, so you're going to want to make sure the wires are out of the way for this. And what you're going to see is you have that little slit right there. It needs to go right there. See that slit in the back? Needs to go right where that first slit is. Oh, okay. Yep. So, oh, you're gonna actually have to take that one out too, sorry. Crap, this is dual. Oh, do you wanna take that fan and clean it really quick? Do you have compressed air or something? Might. Or do you have a generator there? No, we have compressed air somewhere downstairs. So would you like to pause really quick and then go do that? Sure. Okay. All right, guys, we'll be right back with uh, a cleaned out fan. And we're back, kind of dusty, cleaned out. I got um, some dust. My uh, air can only had like two bursts. But I got some big chunks out. So this sticker. Just pull it. OK. It looks kind of weird where it's at. Yeah. I'm right. not sure what that's all about. It, well, it is the uh, warranty and the serial number and everything like that. Oh, don't. It. Let's just put it somewhere else. I don't know where it was. That's better. OK. So you got the second one out now. So like we were doing just before, you're gonna want to line this up. Yep, just yep, drop like, right in. And then... Do need to press? It seems in, but not okay, firm. Okay, hold on. Okay, pull it back out again, if you can. Okay, so what the one thing I forgot to show you guys, and the people, when you're looking down inside this case, um, this piece moves just like on your RAM. Mm -hmm. Needs to be back. Okay. So it snaps in. And it was not, it was up. Okay. Um, so now is it back? That's back. Okay. Yep. There you go. That's all you're gonna do. And then now you're gonna take those two screws and mount them right back, one inside that hole, one out there. Alright, 
that's all there is to it. Um, do we put the DVD run in this video or in this video? Oh yeah, we could do that real quick. All right, guys, so we're gonna toss in this DVD ROM, and I hate to do that because this computer looks so nice without it. Wait, at least will this go back in? Yeah, it'll go back in. Okay, I, I might remove it honestly. Okay. After yeah, because you really don't need it for anything, do you? I can't think of what I would need it for that I couldn't download or get a memory stick. Two full faceplate on. Yep. So, so these. Yep. Just two tabs on the side. You want to push them apart and then pull up. Okay, so that side's coming. There you go. Now yeah, maybe. Oh, you gotta put the screws in there. Yeah, it's not going any further than that. Yeah, I should be asked about here. So, we're only going to put two sets of screws in it. So that in case you want to take it back out. So we're going to be using the other hexagonal, hexagonal screws. And I wouldn't do that side unless you really want to leave it in. Why not? Because well, then you have to take off this side of the case. Oh, I see. But that's up to you. If you want to leave it in, go for it. Not the prettiest job in the world, but it will do. It's not gonna move. Let's go ahead, line it back up again. How's it look? Looks fine. Well, it doesn't look too bad, huh? Looks fine. <laughs> it's black, like I said, at least. It was white, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. It's stupid part, you only need it for the operating system. Right. Um, and that's only because I don't have it on USB. So is this the end of this episode? That's the end of this episode. This is episode four, guys. Episode where we installed what, Tim? We installed the uh, RAM. Yep. Installed the, uh, after deciding not to go with the enclosure, we installed it flat onto the frame with uh, rubber grommets, the uh, SSD. Yep. And then we installed the uh, DVD drive. And the uh, video oh, card. Oh, yes, important, video card. Yep. Let's not forget that. Exactly. So this is episode four. Episode five is gonna probably be a little bit longer. Um, we're gonna be hooking everything up, making it look pretty. Um, so yeah, we'll be back at episode five. If you haven't watched the other episodes, go check them out.